Drones are being tested by the RNLI and the Maritime and Coast Guard Agency to see if they could speed up search and rescue operations in Welsh waters. Well, our reporter Matt Murray is at Porthcawl Lifeboat Station now. Matt, will it work? Well, Jen, I've been to a mock search and rescue operation today to see how these drones can be used. The RNLI and the Coast Guard are going to be testing them over the next week in different parts of Wales, so it'll be varying weather conditions, plenty of sea mist here in Porth Call tonight, just to see how they can aid such a rescue operation. Could this be the first response for search and rescue teams at sea before their boats even hit the water? The RNLI and the Coast Guard are currently working with the Civil Aviation Authority and testing the possibility of using drones to help in their search for casualties. This mock search and rescue operation shows the latest software and cameras being used to detect people in the water or on the shoreline or even boats in trouble. But it's the speed of the drone that will be vital. If we could take the search out of search and rescue, then we wouldn't be putting our crews in danger out there for hours and hours looking for people and they can concentrate on the rescue. The drones would beam back live footage and coordinates visible on lifeboat monitors so the casualty could be rescued. Chris Burton is the maritime manager for the company that provide the RNLI with their latest software packages. We're using the unmanned air system to search a larger area in another place. As soon as it sees something, the system can prompt me and then I can work out whether it's a casualty that I need to be rescuing and if I do I can be going about it straight away. Emlyn Taylor is from the company that manufacture the drones. He showed me the latest in technology. They'd be able to press of a button, launch this, which would actually be all folded up inside of a tube. If you, if you imagine these wings, they'd be folded in, so it'd be a tube, and then it's a Z shape, they unfur unfurl, it comes straight up, so these would be folded, comes out, then turns into horizontal flight when it's able to get there way ahead of the boat, start searching using our software to actually find the human and make sure we can, we can save them. The Civil Aviation Authority had in the past expressed concern, describing a possible collision with a Coast Guard helicopter as being catastrophic. But this multi-agency effort is now working together to eliminate that risk and concentrate on saving lives at sea. Plenty of sea mist here in Porth Call this evening rolling in and there was in the Vale of Glamorgan when we were filming but you could see from my report actually the pictures from the drone were pl pretty clear so it did its job, it located the casualty. But now with the improving weather conditions and summer fast approaching there are more and more of us heading to the coast but the message from the RNLI is remember respect the water. But will it be beach weather this weekend? Well let's get the forecast with Derek.